This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Friday, July 13th, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain from BC to Winnipeg and along the St. Lawrence Seaway, from Montreal up to St. John's. The jet stream and tropopause coincide with the entire west coast of BC over to Calgary, Alberta through the weekend, and with any precipitation that may occur in southern Ontario and southern Quebec on Saturday and Sunday. In the U.S., radar from IntelliCache shows scattered rainfall for areas of the west, midwest, lower Ohio Valley, and along the Gulf Coast. The jet stream and tropopause indicate the highest fallout concern would be for Alaska, northern Michigan, and northern New England over the weekend. The southern states should continue to be cautious with rainfall contact due to core exit rain out. For Hawaii, any rain from Tropical Storm Amelia should be avoided, although this storm is forecasted to dissipate over the weekend. Tropical Storm Fabio may be classified as a hurricane late Friday, but so far is not expected to make landfall. In Europe, radar from Meteo France shows extensive rain for the northern half of Europe, including the UK and Scandinavia, on Friday. Another offshore system will be moving through France Saturday morning, and all rainfall should be avoided in the following cities, Amsterdam, Berlin, Brussels, Copenhagen, Frankfurt, Helsinki, Innsbruck, London, Lucerne, Monte Carlo, Munich, Oslo, Paris, Stockholm, Vienna, Warsaw, and Zurich. The X flare that occurred on Thursday from Sunspot 1520 is very powerful and is now expected to impact Earth at 5 a.m. EDT Saturday, July 14th, arriving 12 hours earlier than originally forecasted. The area of impact is also expected to be the east coast of the U.S. Sun and sky tools may be accessed on FukushimaFacts.com for further updates. The biggest concern is how this flare may affect the power grid and nuke plants. Nuke Report At Nine Mile Point in New York, there was a manual reactor scram when a reboiler failed, causing a loss of steam. This resulted in a degrading condenser vacuum, and the backup failed as well. The unit is currently in hot shutdown. This is a major concern as the X-flare impact will coincide with this area. The cause of the loss of both the primary and backup sources is under investigation. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.